Oh. What's up, you two? Welcome back to the new trucking journey. I'm Trucker Jim, and I'm getting a massage. Man, I needed it, dude. Oh, it's getting my back of my head and my neck. This may be the best $5 I've spent all week. This is at the Petro, which I'm parked across the street from. And I said, ah, maybe the, you know, a salad bar from the Petro. Well, guess what, truck drivers? Coronavirus. No more salad bars. No more buffets. At least this year. Hopefully things will get back to normal soon, but... I wouldn't hold my breath on that truck driver. from San Antonio, Texas. We're a little less than three hours away from Laredo. We're gonna stop, get this trailer inspected, deliver it. Hopefully there'll be another one ready and we'll get under it and start uh, heading back north. I'm a big fan of getting an early start, so uh, let's get rolling. And I have made it to Laredo. I'm at the spot where I have to get a trailer inspection. For those of you that don't know, anytime you're bringing a trailer, that is destined to cross the border, well, it's gotta get inspected. That way, they can confirm it didn't get messed up while it was across the border. It only takes a few minutes if everything's cool with the trailer, but if you got a mud flap or a tire with a problem or some lights are out or something, well, it's gotta get fixed before it goes across. I was having challenges getting the address to go into my GPS. It's Interstate 35 Frontage Road is the address and well it wouldn't go in but I knew it was near ProTran so I pulled up the map and I saw it how it on the map it had it listed IH Frontage Road. I put that in, I put the numbered address, it matched in, it looks like it's right near ProTrans so it should take us right where we need to go. Most of your GPS's are set up similar. Mine's a Rand McNally, one of the flat tablet types. Now see how it's messed up now? The way you fix that is hit this, it recenters it, and boom, there you go. If you're new to having a GPS, a couple of things you want to know is get the right map view. 3D is what looks best. Like this is, I think, north up. Or maybe that's north up. I don't like any of them except 3D. 3D has the best look. And down here where you see where it has, you know, my miles and how long it's going to get there, that's called remaining time. That's what I recommend. Some people like arrival time. In this case, if we left right now, that's when we would get there. I don't like that one, because if you stop, it's not right. But remaining time will assist you in giving accurate ETAs. <laughs> people we have made yet another delivery here in Laredo and if you can make it to a place one time you can make it there a thousand times here's how you do it right, but we'll hit right here in the corner look what pops up save current location and we're not gonna name it I-35 South no clear that I'm waiting on my bills but I think it was called like Buckland we're gonna ride in 
Buckland, Laredo. In the middle of the building, you're gonna see the only joint on the walk that stops. Say that again. Straight left in the middle. Just anywhere in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Did you guys catch all that? Straight left and in the middle. Okay. Okay, I guess anywhere in here will do. Ah, in the middle there. I think I see a spot. And we have found a spot for our trailer here at Buckland. So what I'll do is just write the name that I want to call it. And boom, there we go. It's been saved. Now, whenever we need to go back here again, I'll just go to the address book, and there we go. But a little tip I've learned, now I've got to get out and unhook the trailer and everything, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and send my empty macro so the computer knows I'm done with this and I need another one. And hopefully, that other one should be at the southeastern yard where I just left from getting the inspection. There was like a four or five of our trailers there when I left so that'll get my name in the hat and we do this on this antique of a Qualcomm Omnitrack system this is one of the old ones information needed is pretty basic we'll send that boom and the last thing to do is scan my bills fortunately I'm able to do that with the TransFlow app that I have on my phone so um, I'm gonna do that right now all right, all that's done. Our next load is ready. It's waiting on us at the southeastern yard, so we're gonna grab that, and we're headed back to Smyrna, Tennessee. Same way we came from. I was kinda hoping to go in the other direction and go on through Houston and Louisiana and stop there for the night, you know, get some Cajun food, but that's not happening this trip. We're Tennessee bound. people I have got parked for the night I'm in Gerald Texas that's just a little bit south of Dallas but we've got our friend the drone what do you say guys y'all want to see a little drone footage at, at golden hour That was professional truck driver John. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. I'm just sitting here with my balls in my hand, but it's 
very relaxing. Hey, but we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. I hope you guys are enjoying the new truck and journey. Please share this with a friend because the numbers are not good. Uh, I actually went a whole month without a single subscriber. But then today I got four, so welcome to the truck and journey, the four of you. And I'll see everybody in the next video. But until then, be safe out there and keep on trucking.